This episode of Lost Anarchy Presents has been brought to you by Cigarette.com. Greetings, everyone, and welcome to Tales from the Black Side. I'm your host, Gypsy Black. Tales from the Black Side. Um, usually these are written articles, but this time I'm now animated. Finally! Even though most people think I'm a cartoon anyway. So, it's a natural transition. A little bit about me, uh, since most some of you might not know who I am. Uh, I do vocals for a band called Black. It's gonna be rant, raving, just some babblings. And maybe you can learn a thing or two from some of this shit. Who knows? Just pay attention. And now, on with the show. Everybody. Sorry it's been a while since the last video. I know you guys have been waiting for the update and everything, but I've been pretty busy between with the band, playing shows, trying to get this EP out next month on the 5th, and then also with my business, Flyer Ninja, and I'm getting a lot of clients have been busy with that. So I gotta tell ya, it's been rough and it's been fucking hot working out here in the valley. But here we are. Hey, last time I did an article and a video. I was explaining to everyone the difference between horror punk, death rock, and psychobilly, and gothabilly. Nice. 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 I'd, and, of course, I had said, if I missed anything, please let me know. And, much to my surprise, a lot of you actually did. I actually got a lot of response, which I appreciate that, by the way. Well, oddly enough, I missed a couple of some of the most important bands to all the genres I was writing about. The Damned and Bauhaus. Both bands have been major role players in the goth, death rock, and punk move. Both were influential in music, period. To be quite honest, it's better that they get their own separate article. So, let's start with Bauhaus first. <laughs> Bauhaus was formed in England back in 1978 by Peter Murphy, Daniel Ash, Kevin Haskins, and David Jay. Originally called Bauhaus 1919, but then dropped the 1919 part later on. In August 1979, they debuted with the legendary single Bella Lugosi's Dead, Terror Small Wonder Records. Oh, yeah. They released three more singles Dark Entries, <laughs> and a sing second single, The Passion of Lovers. Also on January 3rd, 1980, they did a recorded session on the John Peel Show. Oh, yeah. In 1980, they debuted their first album in a flat. Later, they would join the Beggar's Banquet label, their debut single for the label, Kick in the Eye, later releasing a sing second single, The Passion of Lovers. In 1981, they released their second album, The Mass. Their first single they released from that was Spirit. However, the band was displeased with it and decided to re-record it for their third album, The Sky Has Gone Out, in 1982. Their first single they released from that was Spirit. In the same year, Bauhaus scored their biggest hit with the cover of David Bowie's Ziggy Stardust. Which is recorded during a BBC session. Oh, yeah. That same year, Bauhaus made an appearance in the horror film The Hunger, but they performed Bella Lugosi's Dead during the opening credits. Prior to, to the recording of their fourth album, Burning from the Inside, in 1983, Peter Murphy was stricken with pneumonia, which prevented him from contributing much to the album. I, I just stand up for myself. Daniel Ash and David J. took the reins and became the driving forces behind the record. He even afforded lead vocals on a few tracks. The band then went on, to, on an international promotional tour for the album. Later, however, the night before they were supposed to perform two shows at Hammersmith Palace in London, the group decided to disband. 
The band played their farewell show on July 5th, 1983 at the Hammersmith Palace. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right. Dedicated fans had been warned by the band's crew not to miss the show without telling them it was a lie. After a long encore consisting of some of their early songs, David J. left the stage with the words Rest in Peace, Burning from the Inside was released a week later. The single Sanity Assassin was released in limited quantities as a farewell gift to the members of their fan club. You'd be proud of your president. After the breakup, Peter Murphy had and continues to have a successful solo career which legendary albums such as 1988's Love Hysteria, 1989's Deep, and most recently 2011's Ninth, and the newest one, 2014's Lion. And he also appeared in one of those really fucking horrid Twilight movies. Oh, Peter, why? Daniel Ash had already started Tones on Tale with Bauhaus roadie Glenn Campbell as a side project in 1981. The group released an album and several EPs before breaking up in 1984. During a discussion about the state of their projects at the time, Ash and David J. began talking about reforming Bauhaus. All four band members arranged a rehearsal, but Murphy failed to show up the day of the schedule. The other three band members rehearsed regardless and were inspired by the chemistry they had as a trio. As a result, Ash and, Haskins bro Ash and the Haskins brothers formed Love and Rockets in 1981. They even scored a U.S. hit four years later with So Alive. The band broke up after seven albums in 1999. Both Daniel Ash and David J. released So Albums during the Love and Rockets season. Peter Murphy contributed backing vocals to David J.'s 1992 single Candy on the Cross. Bauhaus reunited in 1998 and again in 2005. In 2008, Bauhaus released their first new studio album since 1983, Go Away White. However, there was no promotional tour. Though their actual existence as a band was short-lived, they had a long-lasting effect on music and still influence many musicians today. brand new issue of Lost Anarchy magazine is now currently available throughout the city and we are now a paid publication. You can do so for only $2.50 at comicfleamarket.com. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe or I will scratch your eyeballs out. This episode has been brought to you by Ziggurat.com. There's nothing fake about it. We're the source for electronic cigarettes. Welcome to the 21st century. Quit smoking and start vaping. No tar, no secondhand smoke, no pollution, no offensive odors. Smoke without the guilt. We carry everything from egos to traditional electric cigarettes and a full line of accessories. So please come on down to Ziggurat.com. All of our flavors are produced right here in the United States. And we can even say our flavors are kosher. So for the best flavors, the best vaping experience, that you can get, go to ziggurat.com. And remember, all the flavor you will get vaping on your cigarette at ziggurat.com. That's Z I G R E T.com.